while back, a YouTuber named Mr. Drawing Guy asked me if I could review a game called Super Widget. Well, I never heard of the game before, so I looked it up on MobyGames.com and found out that there was an actual Widget series. So, I'm not going to review Super Widget at this time, but I'm going to review the first game, Widget, on the NES. The reason for that, I usually like to review the games in order of its series. Sometimes I will jump around, but with a series that has two games, might as well review the first game and then the other game later on. Widget was developed by Graphic Research Co. and published by Atlas. It was released on the NES in 1992. Graphic Research Co. is known for games such as Bomberman Fantasy Race, Asmic Cunland, Solomon's Club, which is a sequel to Solomon's Key, and Captain Ed. Some of these games I've heard of, some of them I haven't, but I should check them out at a later time. And of course, we all know who Atlas is. They publish some badass games. Matter of fact, they were involved with 3D Dot Game Heroes, which is a really badass game on the PlayStation 3. Now, as for Widget, the game is a side-scrolling action platformer game that is based off of a cartoon series named Widget the World Watcher, which stars a purple alien named Widget. Now, I've never seen the cartoon before, but it ran three seasons and had 64 episodes. It was created by Peter Keefe. In Widget on the NES, you will go through five levels, and you can choose which order to play, at least the middle three levels. After beating each level, which will consist of a boss battle at the end, you can gain an ability such as being a bird, a cannon, speedy mouse, and a golem. It kind of has that Mega Man vibe to it, which is pretty cool. Of course, Widget has to fight a variety of enemies that fit the environment of each level. Now, Widget uses a pellet gun like weapon, which is kind of funny. I mean, he's a goddamn alien. You'd think he would have some better weapons than this. But really, Widget doesn't seem like an angry alien. He's always smiling and all that crazy shit. He's a happy alien. Now, the story behind Widget isn't mind-blowing. You have to stop Widget's evil twin from destroying planet Earth. Now, Widget's evil brother is Ratchet. Not anything to do with Ratchet and Clank. And one day I should review Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 2, even though it has nothing to do with this fucking review. But that's his evil brother, and he's going to destroy the planet. You need to beat the shit out of him and throw him off a roof or bash his head through a wall or something like that. I don't know. Whatever brothers do. I mean, I have a brother but I'm probably the evil brother compared to him. Actually, no, he's a bitch. The graphics for Widget are nice. The game has bright colors, the level designs are nice, the sprites are well done, the game is very colorful, it does glitch here and there a little bit, but nothing horrible. More so like a screen flicker. And I don't find an issue with that. This That's typical with a lot of NES games. The developers did take their time with this game, and I can't complain too much. The music and sound effects are quite good. The music is very well done, well composed, not memorable or anything, but it's great. I do really enjoy the music during the stage select screen, and of course the first level has great music as well. I will say it's a little bit catchy, but it's not memorable. After a while you're like, oh, wow, I forgot about this music. Now most of stage one is the same music, and you would think it would change up later on in the game. And what I mean that, in each level it kind of has sections, and you would think there'd be different music. Stage 2 does have different music though, which is nice, so it sounds like there's different music in each stage. The sound effects are pretty good, very well done, from shooting your weapon to enemies and so on. Great 8-bit sound effects, nothing I can complain about. The controls are alright. Not the most amazing, but not awful. Moving around is easy, but it's a little bit slow at responding. Just a little bit. The layout of the controls are good. I can't complain too much there. They just need to be a little bit better at responding. And even, it seems like shooting your pellet gun is a little slow too. But the game is very playable, so I can't really complain a ton. It's a small flaw though. Widget is an interesting platformer game. It's quite enjoyable. The gameplay is fun, the graphics are nice, the music and sound effects are good, the controls are okay. Probably uh, the biggest flaw of this game is the controls, and that's not a real big flaw, it's just there. The difficulty of Widget is up there. It's not an easy game. Some of the levels have areas where you're going to need a certain power-up to get through, and so on. So you have to kind of use your brain a little bit when you play this game, and you got to know what you're doing. Is Widget the best platformer I've ever played? No. But it's fun, and it's something I'd never heard of until I was asked to review the sequel. Personally, I recommend this to those that enjoy tough platformers. I think you will really enjoy it a lot. If you want to check out Widget for yourself, the game is 52% rare over at rarityguide.com. Looking at eBay, the prices are expensive. $49.95 for a loose copy. 
$249.95 for a new in-box, factory sealed copy, $31 for another loose copy, $74.99, $49.99, and that's all I really see on there. $31 for a loose copy isn't bad, but isn't good. Personally, if you want to play the game that bad, emulate it. If you want to spend the money, go ahead, but I say emulate it. And if you don't like it, then you won't lose $31 or $50 or whatever. The game wasn't released on the Virtual Console or anything, which kind of sucks, but obviously Nintendo doesn't have the license for this game because it was a cartoon and all of that shit. And it's a shame that a loose copy is going for 50 bucks. I personally think that's fucking ridiculous. I know people will disagree with me on that, but I think it's just too fucking ridiculous. $31 is pushing it. $50 is bullshit. Of course, this is not the first time I will say that, and I know it won't be the last. But it is what it is. At a later time, I will do a review of Super Widget on the Super Nintendo, and maybe do a Let's Play of this game, and see how bad I am at it, and see how far I could get, and see how many times I die. I hope you enjoyed this review of Widget on the NES. You guys are badass. Thanks for watching.